Maria Clara at Ibarra is consistently trending in the past weeks. Based on the AGB Nielsen ratings, it has also claimed the number one spot consistently since it started its airing date last October 3, 2022. It is a Philippine TV fantasy drama under the bannership of GMA Network. The series is based on the novels of Jose Rizal, namely Nalini Tanhair and El Filibusterismo. The stars of the show include Barbie Fortiza, Julie and San Jose, and Dennis Trillio. So initially, the story is all about Clyde Infantes, played by Barbie Fortiza, who gets teleported to the novel's world and interacted with the main characters Chrysostomo Ibarra, played by Dennis Trillio, and Maria Clara, which is played by Julie and San Jose. You can watch it on YouTube, too, and it is scheduled to air until February 2023, subject to a second season extension. If you check our previous videos, we have made our 2022 predictions for Dennis Trillio and Barbie Fortiza. Unfortunately, none have been previously made so far for Julie and San Jose. We always plan for hers, but there are too many distractions, so we'll tackle her later. By the way, this reading is for entertainment purposes only, and no guarantee can be given as to the accuracy of the reading. Please always use your own common sense and judgment. Viewers and audience discretion is always advised. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. First, for Dennis Trillio, we have predicted this one. Five and a half months starting late July 2022, there can be good opportunities, nice expansions, good experiences, better image, good benefactors, and many supporters. We'll add the link of the prediction video for Dennis Trillio at the description box for you to check and verify. So going back, October 3rd, 2022, when the series Maria Clara at the bar premiered, is within the five and a half months starting late July 2022 predictions that we have made. True enough, Dennis Trillio's portrayal of Chrysostomo Ibarra has earned him good reviews from the audience. Of course, we are not surprised by this since Dennis Trillo is known to be a very good actor, with so many previous movies and series he greatly performed, plus the many Best Actor awards he bagged as well. So consistent with our predictions, his character portrayal of Ibarra gave him indeed better image, technically additional new good image to his many past good portrayals, and many supporters, with the consistent trending of the show in various platforms. This for him is sure a good experience, as we have predicted as well, as the show is considered something unique, a mix of Philippine-Spanish era setting and a touch of sort of time travel. The show is indeed well thought of. As we said in our prediction, this sure gives Dennis Trillio the opportunities and nice expansions, as for sure he will be in demand with various commercial and business outputs. Good benefactors or sponsors will surely be looking for him due to this successful show that he is part of. For Barbie Fortiza, we'll also post the prediction video in the description box. The closest, relevant prediction that we have made is this. Five and a half months starting middle of October 2022, there may be good opportunities, nice expansions, good manager-related matters, consistent work income, good father-related matters, good connections, good social media presence, good colleagues, manage events, desired attention, better launching, better assets, and wealth gains. Now, even though Barbie Fortisa is a darling of GMA, she is not yet, at least years-wise considering, as famous as Dennis Trillo. Her prominence started as the weeks continued to have the show trend, more or less starting the middle of October 2022, that her name sort of become a household item. So much for justifying the prediction, ha ha ha, but it's just a few days difference so let's just consider it. If I'm not mistaken, the resounding slap Clyde gave to Fidel, another character, and their powerful word exchanges made a mark for Barbie Fortisa. And that was aired around October 12, 2022, which should be already the middle of October, ha ha ha. From there, as we have predicted, there could be good social media presence for her, and the desired attention can also give her good opportunities with this show. Coincidentally, the show is scheduled to air, at least for the first season, until February 2023. So, counting from October to February, that's roughly five and a half months as we have predicted. 
This may likely be a good time for Barbie Fortisa generally, giving her consistent work income, wealth gains, and better assets, as predicted. The ensemble cast is quite good for the show, so it shows that Barbie, as we have predicted, can also have the good connections and good colleagues at her disposal. And this may all contribute to making the show more interesting as it continues to air. For Julie and San Jose, we have no predictions to back up for now. But we can comment on her good portrayal for Maria Clara. She trended, although she normally does, when she sang Ave Maria, right? And that earned her praises from her many fans and supporters. Who would not appreciate that soft yet soprano voice as she, in the scene, performed the song while playing the piano. Her sophisticated portrayal of Maria Clara is doing justice to what many people are expecting for the character to be shown. Briefly checking on her current month energies, there are many good managers, both close and from afar, and even father related figures, that are contributing to this nice time she is having. Opportunities and wealth are very strong as well, for this month so, Julie and San Jose, will likely shine at this time. Anyways, do also check in the description box for Julie and San Jose's annual prediction for the remaining months of her 28th year. The question now is, will the show Maria Clara at Ibarra continue its trending spree? Well, we will just have to base for now on the main three stars of this show. We are seeing potential image and sponsors concerns for Julie and San Jose, so hopefully this can be managed in the coming months. Barbie Fortisa may likely be a key role in making this show more prominent, especially with that pairing with Fidel, and likely with Chrysostomo Ibarra, in the coming episodes. Dennis Trillio can also be a catalyst to improve this show to be more competitive. Him simply being part of the show, plus his many fans, would be a good contribution to the success of the show. Still, though these three stars are the visible ones, we should also acknowledge the not so noticeable but big efforts of the other casts, directors, and other very supportive crew that is part of this series. Team effort it is, indeed, and if they are able to innovate and increase the curiosity of the people, then their success can be sustained. Filipino support, from the audience, management, and even from the government, is needed so that more shows like this can be enjoyed. With that, we won't need to ban any Korean dramas anymore, hello to some senators, and we'll both enjoy the wide variety of entertainment available in the TV and the internet world, and the unique world, Maria Clara at Ibarra, that Clay is currently taking part in. Thank you once again for watching. We highly appreciate your time with us. See you on the next videos.